Hello and welcome to another video of the WFCC Learners Corner. In this video, we will be exploring how to create harmony when composing helpmates and some important themes such as the Zalahi theme and the helpmates of the future theme. So let's start. Now let's talk about harmony in helpmates and first of all, I'll show you quite a very nice composition made by Vasil in Problem Blood 2014 which won the second prize. So there are four solutions in this and it's a helpmate in three. So black, white, black, white, black, white. And there's no set play or twinning. It's just four multi solutions. So the first solution is G into F6, Bishop to D7, King into F3, Rook to E6, King to G4 and Rook to F6. Note that this this move order is very important because first white must play bishop d7 so that this king can run to f3 or else the bishop was supporting it and after that rook to b6 so that the king can go to g4 and then rook into f6 a discovered checkmate now on the next solution it's this time g into h6 bishop to e4 king into e3 bishop to f5 check King to f5, uh, king to f3, sorry, and bishop h3 mate. And again, the move order is very important because after g into h6, bishop to e4, black can now take on e3 or else the rook was guarding it. Then bishop f5 check, then black can take on f3 or else the rook was guarding it, and then bishop h3, another discovered checkmate. Now, Third solution, rook into b8, bishop into g7, king into e3, king to b6, king to d4, rook to e6 mate. Another discovered checkmate. Again, the move order is very important because first black takes on e8 so that this king can take on e3. So bishop into g7, then king into e3, then king to b6. King to d4, so this king is basically guarding this escape square, that is c5, and then rook e6 mate, so that this rook cannot interfere with rook to e5. Now, the fourth solution is rook into c6, bishop to f4, king into f3, bishop e5 check, king into e3, and bishop c3 mate. So now this bishop goes to f4 to e5 to c3 again it goes to f4 so that f3 can be taken then goes to e5 so e3 can be taken and then a discovered checkmate so there were two very apparent themes shown in this one of them being the zalahi theme so this theme has become quite popular recently and that is a white piece which is captured in one phase mates in the other and vice versa so if you look at the start starting position, there are four white pieces and each of the four pieces checkmate in one of the solutions. And in each of them, the first black move is a capture of these piece. So let's say in the rook into e a variation, this rook checkmated with rook to e6 mate. In the rook into c6 variation, the bishop checkmated with bishop to c3. In the gh6 variation, uh, the bishop was captured and the bishop mated. And in the g into f6 variation, the bishop, uh, the rook was captured and the rook mated. So this was the Zalahi theme. <coughs> now, a helpmate of the future. So the helpmate of the future is basically a helpmate having at least two pairs of solution, each pair showing a separate theme. And these Two pairs of solutions should be connected via broad and unifying theme in general. So here this unifying theme was the Lahi theme. Along with all of these, like I said, were actually discovered checkmates. So this bishop checkmating here, this rook checkmating here, and this bishop checkmating here. So this was a very nice uh, example of harmony because... If first of all, when you see the full set of solutions, you realize that they're harmonious. But just looking at one at a time, 
it won't look that good. And the best thing is that the, all of these solutions are disguised properly. So the solver is always deceived as to what the next solution will be. So when compositions have unified solutions and solutions that don't betray each other, that's when a composition is cons considered harmonious and it has an aesthetic appeal. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.